Good afternoon, one and all. Welcome back to Red's Homestead. Today I want to talk about a topic that I've never really talked about, but some recent events kind of made it top of mind. So we're going to go ahead and uh, discuss it. We're going to talk about snakes. So what I want to talk about is obviously some venomous snakes. I want to talk about some really good snakes and then a few things to think about if you do get bit by a venomous snake or if your dogs get bit by a venomous snake. So I want to say full disclaimer, disclaimer, I am not a doctor, I'm not an expert. So unless you are 100% certain on what you see and what you know, go to an expert or go to a doctor. With that being said, I'm going to focus mostly on things here in Georgia that we'll find. And we'll start with the venomous snakes. The top three that we'll find in our areas cottonmouths or water moccasins. Now, first thing you notice is the banding is actually slightly different than copperheads. It's not as Hershey Kiss shaped. Um, it's it kind of indistinct actually, but you do have these dots in the middle. Copperheads. And we'll find um, rattlers and we do have like pygmy rattlesnakes uh, coral snakes and there's one more um, but those are uh, I've never once seen them in my life and uh, they're very seclusive uh, usually buried somewhere so what I want to really focus of what we see most often is the rattlers sometimes copperheads all the time and water moccasins all the time so water moccasins Cottonmouths, same thing. Uh, rattlers, either timber rattlers, pygmy rattlers. Um, coral snakes, which are gorgeous. Don't get it mixed with a scarlet snake. Uh, and then you have your copperheads. So learn to identify those or whichever ones are local in your area. So if you get bit, the first thing to know is there is no proven home remedy against a venomous snake bite. Go to the doctor, get anti-venom. That is the only proven method to stop the venom from surging through your body, and that becomes deadly. Anti-venom will save your life. And you can go to this website right here, and this will tell you all the hospitals that have anti-venom in stock. So it's somewhere that you know locally that you can go to if you do get bit by a snake, and they will have the proper treatment. So what can you do while you're on the way to the hospital? Well, calm down. Venom goes through your body through the bloodstream. If you calm down as much as you possibly can in a moment of panic like that, try to lower your heart rate. The lower your heart rate, the slower the blood will be going through your body and the slower the venom will be going from wherever you got bit from. Another way to slow down the blood is to elevate whatever appendage you got bit on. Let's say you're bit on your arm or your hand, raise it above your heart right here. And this will lower the blood that's traveling up your arm and it'll make it a lot slower for venom getting through. It could save your life. If you're bit on the foot, lay back, lift your foot above your heart. It'll lessen the blood flow again. Seemingly small things like that can save your life because minutes count when you're bit by a venomous snake. So let's say you get bit by a snake and you're not sure if it's venomous or not. You kind of think it is. It's really hurting. If you can take a picture of the snake. That is not needed, but it just helps. Pit viper venom, if you go to the hospital and have to get anti-venom, they don't need to know what kind of snake it is. If they know it's a venomous snake or if they think it's a venomous snake that bit you, they will still give you the anti-venom that will counteract the local wildlife of, of snakes that you have. And as I said in the beginning, I am not an expert. So if you are and you have things that either discredit what, I, uh, what I'm saying um, and you have better ideas or if you have ideas I haven't even mentioned that you know are proven to be true, leave it in the comments. I want to know more uh, than what I already know now. 
Now with that being said, with all the fear of getting bit by a venomous snake, just know that as since anti-venoms came around, the odds of dying, unless you have a medical condition, that's another thing I want to add. If you have some special medical condition, like your blood doesn't clot or, you know, something that would be impacted that your doctor would know more than I would, go to the hospital. <laughs> Just follow your doctor's orders. I don't know that kind of stuff. Follow your doctor's orders. They know a lot better than I do on what you should do with your body. But with that being said, and the fear of getting bit by a snake, the odds are very, very low of you dying from a venomous snake bite, at least the ones here in Georgia, um, as long as you can get to anti-venom. Even if you're hours away, if you're in way rural area and it takes you two hours to get to the hospital, you are still within the time frame. You can still get anti-venom hours after your bit and it still is effective. I also wanna point out, there is no record or history of snakes being aggressive. This is not the movie Anaconda. The snake will not come chase you, hunt you down, trying to eat you. You are not prey. You are a hundred times its size, more than that. It will not eat, it cannot eat you, so it will not attack you unless it is defending itself. So keep that in mind. You leave a snake alone, it's not gonna come after you if you leave it alone. So venomous snakes are out of the way. Non-venomous snakes. Well, we have a lot here in Georgia. I'm not gonna cover every one. I'm just gonna cover the few that I really like to see around the property and I do see all the time. First off, I just saw this guy the other day. This is a king snake. King snakes are great to have on your property, especially if you don't like venomous snakes. See, the thing about king snakes is not only do they eat rats and little rodents and all stuff like that, they also prey on venomous snakes like cotton mouths. So you see a king snake around or roaming your near your house, that's okay because you're protected. Another good one is a black racer. Black racers, we see a lot of those. Those are always in the trees here. We see them and they get big. Uh, they like to go after the birds nests and get the chicks, unfortunately, but it's nature. Uh, we see them all the time. Another one that we did just the other day ago that kind of prompted the idea of this video is we got a rat snake. I actually didn't plan on recording today, but we have a little interesting uh, something inside the chicken coop. We have Mr. Rat Snake number one, Mr. Rat Snake number two. Normally I welcome these guys. They are perfect rodent controlled. I can afford to give up an egg or two for these guys to keep the mice from getting into my feed. But since I have the chicks in here, I'm gonna go ahead and locate them somewhere else, I hope. We're gonna see how this works. There we go. Okay, didn't have two hands there, but you can catch the tail end of them. I just moved him right out here and he's going off into the woods. Hopefully he'll stay around that area, at least for now. Time to get the other one. This one's gonna be harder cause it's way up high. <laughs> So, we're going to see how that works. And that was a little harder to get. It was high up, so I had to get a step ladder, but uh, he's already gone. Put him in the same spot over here in the woods. Apparently, they're very happy sleeping right next to each other, so I'm sure they'll be happy uh, living in the same part of the woods. And really, I don't care if they come back and help themselves to eggs. Um, they're not venomous. They won't hurt me. Even if they bite, it's like a little bee sting, but I don't want them to get the chicks right now. We don't have them in the most secure um, cage. Um, if we had them in the hardware cloth like our other brooder, I'd be fine. A snake could get through that. Probably not a rat snake, but better safe than sorry. Chickens do not care about rat snakes. She's laying here the whole time. Not a care in the world. We now return you to our regularly scheduled program. Rat snakes are also amazing to have because they keep your rodent population down. So let's say you just don't like snakes. You don't want to go killing snakes on your property, but you just don't like them. Well, you can keep them away. It's okay. You can figure that out. Take away the habitat that snakes like. Let's go with um, all snakes in general will be wood piles, brush piles, 
um, anything that they can feel safe in and kind of burrow into, that's a snake haven. Rat snakes, if you have a chicken coop, you probably have a rat snake somewhere nearby. You just don't know it. They're coming in and getting eggs. How do you stop that from happening? Well, you gotta have the right wire around your coop. Um, if you keep your coop sealed up at all times, you want hardware cloth. Chicken wire doesn't work. Snakes can get through it. You want hardware cloth, like quarter inch, half inch hardware cloth. So anywhere that they have easy access for comfortable living and a source of food, take that away and then the snakes will disappear. Now, let's say you do see a snake and it could be a venomous or non-venomous, you don't know, but you don't want it to be where it's at. Well, if you're near a hose, just spray it with water. Doesn't hurt the snake, don't put it on full jet stream, but it won't hurt the snake and it'll just go on its merry way. And there's a ton of support online, even Facebook. You have like national uh, snake bite support groups that covers mostly um, veterinarians, so very animals, but they will give you um, advice on yourself. Um, if you feel like you've uh, been bitten by a venomous snake, they will give you the recommendations of what to do. This right here, is something that a lot of veterinarians will use as a guideline of how to treat the animals. First off, if it's indicative, like they know that there's been a venomous bite here, first is anti-venom. It's the only thing that works, only thing that'll neutralize the venom. Then they'll do IV fluids to control the hydration. Then pain management, um, it's extremely painful getting bit by a pit viper. It's extremely painful so they will give you some pain management for the animal they'll do blood work to help assess the progression or regression of hematologic changes blood stuff so what do you not do or not give your animal if your animal is bit by a venomous snake do not give any non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs so that's like carprofen. So what it does, it will increase the bleeding tendencies, but bleeding risks are already increased due to the venom effects and it can cause significant kidney injury. Lastly, do not give steroids to the animal. Uh, that could lead to being fatal. And then a couple things that are on the list of, it won't kill you or won't hurt you, but it's useless. Uh, antibiotics in Benadryl, useless, don't give it. And if you're worried about your animals getting bit by a snake, I mean, there's good reason, for, especially for dogs. Dogs love to dig around and get into things. Well, that's where snakes are. Dogs are curious. They are curious on what a snake is. I've had a dog go after a king snake, didn't bite it or attack it or anything, but was really curious to where if it was a venomous snake and wanted to bite him, that dog would be in the hospital right now. Now your birds, even the non-venomous ones, you don't really have to worry about a snake eating a full-grown chicken. At least here in Georgia, we don't have the big pythons and stuff. They can't eat them. Now, if you have chicks and a brooder, they can eat them. So you want to make sure that is very secured with hardware cloth. And again, a copperhead or a rattler or any venomous snake nearby won't go after a chicken unless for some reason this chicken is going to where the venomous snake is at and then I'll get in defense mode, but more often than not, that chicken's gonna be backing away because they're scaredy cats. That's about it for snakes. Listen, to summarize, snakes are beneficial. <laughs> they do a lot for the environment, for your homestead, for whatever you got going on. They are amazing creatures to have around. And to summarize your behavior, if you see a snake, if you don't know what it is, stay away. And even if you do know what it is, still be careful and handle it properly. And if you get bit by a snake and you don't know what it is, go to the doctor. If you get bit by a snake and you know it, it's a venomous snake, go to the doctor. And if your animal is bit by a snake and you don't know what to do with it, go to the doctor. And this is mainly for veterinary style animals, um, house pets. Um, this isn't meant for livestock, larger animals. They have different uh, anatomies. So they're, they're treated a little bit differently from what I understand uh, when they get by a, uh, bit by a snake than what a dog or cat or something like that would be. Um, so that would be the specialized veterinarian that you would go to uh, really get advice. And that's a lot more work loading it up if you don't have a house call vet. A lot more advice to learn on that that I don't know anything about. And again, I am not a doctor. So my advice is very generic and may not be applicable to your situation. Ask your doctor, 
call your hospital, see if they administer um, anti-venom, if they have a supply in stock. Make sure you do your own homework.